something that may seem a little bit obscure and maybe not as useful of an instrument to, to most is very useful to us, um, and that would be the VSL bass clarinet. I find it to have a very rich, uh, very, very dense uh, kind of sound and color to it. And something that I really, really admire about all Vienna instruments is this kind of tactile sound. Um, it's very precisely recorded. It's very precisely programmed. It's just brilliant sampling. Um, and it also has quite a range of timbre as well. There's quite a range of intensity in all of their instruments, um, as you can hear. So you have quite, quite a mellow, round woodwind sound. And as you really push up that mod, it gets more and more, um, you know, kind of reedy um, and more almost, I mean, especially you'll hear in the, in the, in the horn samples that um, it almost gets kind of cloying, it gets very brassy, it's strident, which is great to have that kind of spectrum of colors. Um, the VSL bass clarinets we used quite a bit on the score for The Martian, um, which I'll play for you guys in just a second. Um, we're pretty old school at Wavecrest Music. We like to just use key switches on the keyboard, uh, nothing fancy. Um, but particularly this patch, I always kind of continue to gravitate towards because I know that it has such a wide range um, of timbres. You know, so you have your straight up sustain, your really powerful staccato. Um, what do we got here? I like that you can hear the tactile nature of the instrument, that you can hear the fingerings, you can hear all of that, but it's still very precisely recorded. There's very um, little extra sensory things that you don't really want in your samples. Um, so it really kind of shows again how these samples are a living organism. And it again is so inspiring in the composing process to have that. Um, it really transports you to the space, which I feel like VSL does probably better than most other libraries. I feel like I'm in the room with that musician. Um, and oftentimes, depending on where these libraries are recorded, you kind of can't really get the space out of your head. But I actually find that all of the spaces in which these instruments were recorded actually blend very, very well texturally and sonically with other sample libraries, which again, I'll show you in just a second. Um, which is immensely useful, totally indispensable, um, because, you know, a lot of the time we're we're composers. We have a, we use a grab bag of sample libraries, but I especially feel that VSL does the best job of kind of melding those sounds all together, so it doesn't feel like you're all put into a, a different space every time you hear something. So why don't I play this for you? Um, again, this is a cue from The Martian, which uses the VSL bass clarinets. Actually, in the final stages of the mix, we did record live bass clarinets, obviously, on the scoring stage, but we actually did use these VSL bass clarinets just tucked just underneath the live bass clarinets to kind of open up the sound um, even more, give another uh, dimension of sonic possibility, which actually gave it a nice, a nice kind of hammock to lay in with the live performance. So I'll just play this back for you. Obviously, we have... Vienna Ensemble Pro, which we house all of our instruments and samples in. the perfect kind of bass blanket, but you can still tell they're bass clarinets. Here it comes again. So as you can hear there, that's actually doubled with some low strings. And again, this kind of feeds into the idea of what I was talking about earlier, that VSL is very good at being able to blend into other spaces and to other uh, sampled instruments. So I'll play for you what it sounds like with the strings. So this is just the bass clarinet and the strings. Mm. And then this is what it sounds like 
in the mix if I mute the bass clarinets and we're just hearing the strings. And then here's it one more time with the bass clarinet in. It gives it just this sense of warmth that surprisingly strings can't give you. And I just find this particular sample to be incredibly inspiring. And it obviously plays a very big role in the composing process for us because we continue gravitating towards that because we find it to be a very excellent musical representation of what that live experience is actually like.